Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Good morning, Foxes. Welcome back. It's Tuesday and it's you're all here in person. We're not virtual today. So I'm really excited to see all of you. Uh, as you can see, I have some friends joining us in the back. But we have to remind Frankie that he has to wear a mask, just like his uh, baby brother does. They're Nurse Jane holding him. So happy December to everyone. When you uh, enter the building, you will notice that our gratitude tree is up. And I wanted to thank Mrs. Cobb and Mr. Uh, Brandengard for uh, putting the tree up for that for us. So with that, I'm going to pass on the mic to our amazing Nurse Jane. Good morning, Foxes. We are so happy to see you back at Frankie Park today. That's one thing I'm very grateful for. It's Tuesday, December 1st. And just a reminder today, we do have an assembly at one for pre-K through second grade. And for third to fifth grade at 145. So keep that in mind. So I hope, like baby Frankie, boys and girls, you thought about all of the things that you were thankful for over your Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we talked about people that we are thankful for. And I talked about my family, all my friends here at Pronky Park, and of course, baby Frankie and Frankie. Frankie must be out changing out his mask right now. I don't see him right now. He must be getting a new mask. So, uh, and did you think about places you are thankful for? Some places might be your home or school or just the park, or maybe some things that you are thankful for. And I know I mentioned that I am very thankful for my two doggies at home. Uh, they keep me happy and smiling. Did you know that when you show gratitude or thankfulness, it is very good for you. It's good for your health. One way that it's very good for you is it causes positive emotion and you feel happy and energetic. Another uh, benefit is better sleep. Uh, we all need good night's sleep so we can come to school and do our best. So that's one benefit of showing gratitude. Another one is it makes our relationships with our family, our friends, our grandparents, our teachers stronger and healthier. So let's talk about ways we can show gratitude and feel better and feel positive and sleep better and have healthier relationships. One way you can do that, boys and girls, is just to smile. If you see someone in the hallway today, give them a big smile. I'm smiling behind my mask. I know you can't see that, but I am smiling. You can tell in your eyes. Everyone likes to get a smile. Say hello. That's another way to show gratitude. Say hi to someone. Show them that you're happy to see them. That makes people feel good. That's a way to show gratitude. Help mom with the dishes. Oh boy, <laughs> that's not fun, but certainly a way to show gratitude to mom or dad or grandma or grandpa at home. That's a great way to show gratitude. Um, another couple ways is maybe help neighbor rake leaves or shovel snow. I saw snow coming down yesterday. I can't believe it. Or carry the groceries. Those are all ways that we can show gratitude. So think about one way that you can show gratitude today. And <clears throat> please feel free to, to do that today at school or at home. A couple reminders, boys and girls. Now that we're back at school, I'm so happy to see you wearing your mask up over your nose. I'm also happy to see social distancing up six feet apart, trying to stay apart. And also reminder to wash your hands, okay, or use hand sanitizer. So just remember those today. And I hope you have a great day. But first, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. Baby Frankie wants to join us, okay? So you can join me too. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, boys and girls. And let's do our bucket filler pledge. You can say it with me. We pledge to do our best to be bucket fillers each day by being kind to others and watching what we say. If we accidentally spill the bucket of a friend, we'll say we're sorry and be kind until their bucket is full again. Thank you very much, Foxes. Remember to show some gratitude today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank Thanks, you. Nurse Jane. And if you can see, um, Frankie is trying to play a little joke on me <laughs> because he's trying to be kind and he's putting an extra mask on my face. Uh, Frankie, I think this is, yeah, anyway. So he's trying to show gratitude by giving me his mask. Uh, also, his other friends are doing the same thing. So I have this mask that's dancing on my face. It's very interesting, <laughs> but at least I'm double protected. All right, I forgot to mention also that I am following Nurse Jane's advice. And as you can see, I have this magical bottle that appears. And I'm drinking water as well. So thank you, Nurse Jane. Boy, that looks like something out of a Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay. The magic trick. Yes. Good job, Dr. H. All right, thank you. Have a great Tuesday, everyone. We're proud of you.